Previously on the writer's wardrobe. There's a zombie apocalypse. Atlas? <sighs> Just a moment. What the fuck? Go away, Atlas! I buried you! You are both assholes! Clinton? What? I'm going to marry her one day. Should I bring flowers? What the fuck for? For her, whoever she is. Maybe she'd appreciate a machete more. Right. I'm unbearable. You are. Why don't you go start packing a backpack or something? Look for a gift for her while you're at it. You know, once in a while you do come up with an idea that's not entirely ridiculous. You're welcome. No, you're welcome, buddy. I'll be back in a jiffy. Take your time. Right, now, where did he leave this bloody thing? Ah, there it is, Lou's phone. I wonder what the... That was weird. Why would his phone's facial recognition recognise my face? Anyway, let's see if there's a news update. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, shit. Clinton? Is that a phone? No. It is! Give it! No, hang on! You cracked his password. Yes? Nice work. You never told me you had that skill set before. Now let's see who we have here. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Not really. I'm going to call all of his contacts until we find the love of my life. <sighs> Jeff, you'll be in love with someone else by the time we go outside. I won't. This is real deal, Clinton. I can feel it in my loins. I can feel it in my... I don't care where you can feel it. We have to get moving. How long do you think the battery will last on this thing? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't call all of his contacts at once. Just one or two per day. Who's this? Tova. That could be her. Were you just at Lou's place? Excuse me? Who is this? Jeff. What are you doing with Lou's phone? Calling you? What's it sound like? Wait, is Lou okay? He's missing. Look, I thought you were the woman we just saw here, but I guess not. Thanks for wasting my time. What? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Jeff? Yeah? Are you okay? I'm fine. I've just really had my hopes up that it would be her. Right. This might take longer than I thought. We should get moving. Oh, yeah, right. I'll grab the mic. Yes, good. Come on. Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing? Well, we have to explain. Explain what? Explain to the listeners what we're doing. Seriously? Yeah, well, this is the start of a brand new adventure. Jeff and Clinton's brainless or something. You stole that from Loomis. Eh, he's probably dead. If he's dead, it's because we took too long to rescue him. Ah, oh, relax. Now... Where to begin? Hello, my lovely listeners from around the flat. Steady on, idiot. You don't have to eat the fucking thing. Isn't it dramatic? Moronic. Cinematic. It's audio. Lots of audio is visually pleasing. Keep up, Clinton. Can we just get a fucking move on, please? Right, yes. Buckle in, friends. This is Jeff and Clinton's real-time survival guide. We're gonna pick your minds till you're brainless. Jeff! Yes, we're moving. Calm down. It's very quiet. Well, zombies don't listen to music or anything. <sighs> oh, shit! Oh, my God, run! What the hell? Run, Clinton! <laughs> shit! There's so many of them! Why are they so fast? <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Welcome back to Jeff and Clinton's real-time survival guide. We're going to uh, rack your brains until you're brainless. For fuck's sake, Jeff, get it out of your mouth. You just leech the fun out of all aspects of my life, Clinton. Someone has to balance you out. Whatever. Anyway, we've come to the conclusion that we'll no longer be doing live recordings of our day. It's simply too chaotic. It was fucked. We almost died. Oh, you are so dramatic. 